Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, exciting development uh, that just happened today. I literally just finished filming this, um, a video flip through of this uh, journal. And at the end of that video, I was trying to figure out what to use next as my next journal. And I have a planner, there's a planner chat um, uh, with a, gr a group of us planner girls in my community. And someone on the chat posted that she actually had a couple of these Hobonichi Techo um, A6 Avec planners. She puts this on the chat for sale. And then I just thought, okay, and she was selling it for $16. So I'm like, you know what, let me just do it because yes, it's the original, so it's in Japanese, but um, it's cheaper. I could get my hands on it right away so I wouldn't have to wait for it to come in. I wouldn't have to pay for shipping. So, um, or try to purchase more items to get free shipping. So yeah, I'm so happy. It's This is the A6 size. It's so tiny, right? It's like smaller than my hand. You could fit it in the palm of your hand. Um, it's so cute and I don't know if this is Jet Pen's packaging or if she packaged it this way because I've never ordered from Jet Pen's, but it's nicely packaged. Um, so let me just open it up because I'm so excited. And then I already started like searching for covers um, because I don't want to ruin the cover of the book. I don't want it to get creased or anything. So um, on jet pens, they do sell covers, but the clear plastic cover that I'm interested in is currently sold out. Um, so I started watching a couple of YouTube videos uh, to see if there's a way I can make one on my own, but I'll, I'll see. So first, before we get into the book, there are a couple of things. So this card, I don't know if this is the maker uh, of the Hobonichi. Maybe this is their card. I don't know. It's in Japanese, so I don't know. <clears throat> and then this Life Book 2020. I think this is, let's just open it and see. So it looks like it's sort of, it's all in Japanese, but there's a little like I don't know, comic strip or something, but it's showing people use somebody, a girl using the planner. And then here, oh, it shows you the different versions of the planner. So, okay. Don't mind the um, TV noise in the background. My daughter is in this room and she is watching TV. Okay, so here's the book. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So, I've never actually even looked through a Hobonichi. My sister-in-law uses one, or she uses a few actually. Um, I think right now her favorite is the Hobonichi Cousin, which I think is A5, so it's maybe twice the size of this. Um, but it's so beautiful. So this is a six month, July to December. It's now July 3rd, so I need to start using it right away. And it's like I don't wanna <laughs> fold it, but I know that I should. I mean, I don't wanna lay it flat, but let me just do a quick flip through because I've never actually seen the Hobonichi. Oh my gosh. So they use a special type of, I think a special type of rice paper that's supposed to be really good paper where it doesn't bleed through. Um, and I've seen, like, I've always shied away from thin paper because it is a really thin paper. But seeing how my fellow planner friends use their Hobonichis and they use it as art journals and they watercolor, the pages get all crinkly and it just looks amazing. So, um, I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to think of this as I would a typical planner where 
I'm like worried about bleed through or, you know, but I do want the cover to stay nice, but as far as the pages go, I can't wait to just be a little bit more creative. Um, so the first page, again, this is the Japanese, it's the original version, so it's in Japanese, um, but I think I could, you know, sort of figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> So we have the, it looks like we have 2020 um, year, uh, the yearly view here. And so the months are numbered. And then I guess I could figure out, I'm assuming this is standard um, calendar system. And then they have 2019 in a smaller font and 2021 in a smaller font. So here, starting from October 2020, it looks like, or maybe, hold on, let me just, okay. So I'm a little confused, but, <laughs> so I think this is like, um, like your year at a glance where you could put your important dates. Um, so birthdays or whatever you wanna track and see sort of like what your year is gonna look like uh, the big picture, this is what you would use. So I guess it starts October 2020, which I don't know. I guess that's okay. Just a little confusing because it goes then into 2021. Maybe it's for you to plan ahead. So it ends in May 2021. And then, oh, okay, so <laughs> this starts. I'm just so confused by this system. So this is July, it starts in July, but it looks like it's including June 2020. So you get a monthly calendar for June. So that's nice. And then July, August, September, October, November, December, anything else? Okay, so there's January 2021. So it, okay, they give you a month prior and a month in advance, so that's kind of nice. Um, so really tiny boxes uh, because it is an A6 planner. So um, I don't know that I would do much, except I, you know, I can write pretty small, but I would probably just do birthdays, um, if anything, because um, there's not a lot of room here. Um, and then maybe just major, I don't know, like a dental appointment or something. I might, I might put in here. Cute. Okay. This says turning the page. It's a grid, grid page. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Okay. Let's see. So I guess here's the month of June. And then on the right side, it's the month of July, the calendar. So maybe this is just a notes page. So here is where we start. So the heart of the Hobonichi is their daily pages. Um, I think maybe it's the cousin. From what I read yesterday when I read up on a bunch of Hob Hobonichi stuff on JetPens, I think the bigger planners, maybe the cousin has weekly pages. So it has monthly, weekly, and daily pages. Um, this A6 size does not have weekly pages, I believe. So it just has the monthly pages, which we just saw, and the daily pages. But this is supposed to be like the, the heart of a Hobonichi uh, Techo system is the daily pages. So it starts with here. So. It, Although it is in Japanese, it does tell you that it's July. So you don't have to just guess by like, okay, the number seven. Um, and then, so you get like a blank page here. And then on the right side, it has um, the hours. So in three hour intervals. So 6 a.m., 9 a.m., noon, three o'clock, or 1,500, 1500 hours, 1,800 hours. 2100 hours and then it goes into midnight and 3 a.m. So you could you could either use that to sort of plan out your day or 
just do whatever. Um, I don't know that I'm planning to use this as a planner per se uh, to plan out my day. I might just use it to journal, um, to art journal or whatever. Um, we'll see how that goes. But basically, oh, okay. Okay, so take that back. This was just the, the like sort of the July cover page. And then, so you just get one page every day. So that's for July 1st, July 2nd, July 3rd. Um, and then there's quotes on the bottom, but obviously they're in Japanese and I don't speak Japanese. I can't read Japanese, um, but it's okay because I figure this is a good introduction to the system. And if I end up really liking it, I can um, get a different version next year, either in this size again, or perhaps a different size and maybe an English version if I could get my hands on one so that it could have English quotes and what have you. So um, I believe it has at the top there, if you can see, it shows you the moon phases for each day. So if you are into like moon tracking, um, that's helpful to you. Um, and then let me just flip through the entire month. So I like that it's just a single page. Um, there is a faint line here that I just noticed. So sort of a bolder line. So it separates it into a column. So you've got like a, a skinnier and a narrow column here and then a wider column there. Or you could just ignore it all together. They've got these check boxes up here. So I don't know if that's meant for you to um, maybe do a to-do list. Um, but really you can make this whatever you want. And again, I don't know that I'm going to make this a planner or if I'm just going to do daily, like sort of art journaling or journaling. And you know, I don't mind that it's just one page per day. It might seem kind of small, not a lot of room, but, um, I already know that I'm probably won't keep up with this and do something every single day in it. Um, so that fact alone is making me fine <laughs> that it's just a one pager because it'll make it easier if I have to backtrack and, you know, try to fill in where I left off. Um, because that's how I am. So looks like July 20th will be the full moon or maybe the 21st. Now we got to the end of the month, the 31st. Oh, okay, and then it just goes into August. So it looks like that's how it is. And then there are some tab colored tabs um, on the side there. So for each month, so that would be July, August, September, October, November, December. So it's not like super convenient because they're not labeled on the side where you can just flip to it but you can always put a page, make your own page marker or put tabs, um, whatever you want to do with it. So, okay, let me see. I, I'm assuming that everything is gonna look the same until you get to the end. So here's December of 2020. Let's get to the end of December. Okay, so there's December 31st. And so the colors, it looks like the colors change. So it's it's sort of like this reddish uh, hue for um, December. So the even the grids, the grid is um, the same color. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So November is green, purple for October. September is like a, a like a light brown, a reddish brown. August is blue, and then um, it's sort of like a teal or a turquoise for July. Okay, so after the last date in December, 
you have a grid page, a blank grid page, and then here you have a timetable. Maybe that's like good for um, your schedule, like either your work schedule or your school schedule to um, put your classes down there for the week. There's graph paper here and then favorites. So it looks like maybe this is a contact page of some sort. So you could maybe put your favorite, I don't know, music place, your favorite restaurant, um, movie theater. It's just different. I, I assume that that's what this means, um, but I could be totally wrong. And then my 100, I have no clue what that means. Um, I'm gonna have to look up what people do with this, but basically there's just lines from one to 100 and it's there's a solid dot on every 10. And I don't know, my 100, what, favorite anything? I, I'm not sure what it is. And then here, I think this is like to show you different kinds of fonts that you might want to try in your Hobonichi. So I think um, it's kind of cool. <laughs> and then these pages, which I have no clue what they are. So this one looks like it's telling you maybe about some animals that are native or and some plants that are native to Japan maybe. Um, and then no clue what this page is. And then here it looks like maybe some sort of conversion chart. Um, but again, I don't know what it is. Okay, so here is that store. May I assume maybe this is the the Japanese company, but 1101.com, maybe they're the, the company that makes the Hobonichi. And then, <clears throat> I think this is a birthday converter. I don't know, I think this is what I read. I don't know how to use it, sorry. <laughs> and then here, like a gifts page, uh, maybe to track make a gift list, I don't know, for Christmas. And then for you to put your addresses for six people, personal notes. So I assume this is like your personal info. And then uh, some websites for you to check out. So that is it. I really like it. Let me just see. I know that I said, let me find the center of this. If there is a center. Is there a center? I just want to see if it, okay. It does lie flat. So I'm, I'm you know, creasing the side now, the, the, the spine, which is fine. But okay, it, it, it lies really nice and flat. So that will be very nice to write, to write on. So that is my flip through of my new Hobonichi Techo 2020 original A6 AVEC planner from July to December 2020. And I want to find a cover. It's like a pretty thick uh, cardstock, um, but I, I don't want this to be, you know, I don't want the cover to get all messed up. So I, I might try looking for a cover or trying to figure out how to make my own cover. Um, we'll see how that goes. And hopefully I can take you along this Hobonichi journey with me and show you at least some flip throughs of things along the way. So I am going to get started and fill in the pages for July 1st, 2nd and 3rd. Um, because yeah, I'm so excited to use this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, guys, and let me know if you use the Hobonichi uh, planners in any size, um, but in particular, if you use the A6, I'd love to see how you're using it, because it is a tiny planner, 
Um, so I'm curious to see, I've never done anything in such a small book. I'm curious to see how everyone else is using theirs. So thanks so much for watching. Until the next video, happy planning.